Hey guys, what is going on? Carter here. Got another budget knife video for you. This is the Kershaw Thermite. It is a 3.5 inch blade knife, 8CR13 MOV, made in China. It features a uh, stone wash on the blade and a compound grind on there, if you can kind of see. So we've got hollow grind back here, flat grind at the tip, and then it kind of does the sponto treatment where the secondary bevel kind of follows through both of those primary bevels, if that makes sense. They're not really separated like you would see on uh, many other knives. Uh, so definitely cool that Rick Hinder, who designed this knife, kind of brought forth that idea into this. He also used the uh, lock stabilizer that he is so known for. Has a stainless steel frame lock. G10 on this side with a cool uh, milled out pattern right there. Plastic backspacer, steel liner over here. Flipper and thumb stud opening. Speed assisted and uh, you cannot remove, well you can remove the speed assist mechanism but it doesn't have a detent to keep it closed. Um, so if you were to take that out you'd probably want to tighten the pivot down so it doesn't open up on you when you don't want it to but that would kind of defeat the purpose of removing it in the first place. One thing I did find that's interesting is if you look through here it does have a detent hole in the blade it just never matches up with the detent ball. It, uh, so I don't know what the story is behind there. It doesn't seem to have any sort of purpose, uh, but it does have a detent hole. It just does not match up with the ball. You can see how that hole should line up with the ball right there in the close position, and it does not. So that's interesting. I don't know if it was a holdover from a different design or, or what the deal is with that. See, lock up there is about 60%. Uh, the main complaint with this knife is that it is super thin. It is really, really thin. It takes, it definitely takes some getting used to when you put this in your hand. The ergos are good. It feels great, but it is really, really thin. It's actually the same. Uh, the handles are the same thickness as the knockout. However, the knockout is a little wider. Um, so this is narrow and thin. So you definitely feel it. It uh, takes some getting used to. Uh, but overall, it's it's a pretty nice knife. I would say, I think it retails just under $40, like $35, $40. Uh, I don't know. I'd say closer to $30 would be a better price for uh, for this knife. Um, oops. But that's just me. Um, God, I hate this stupid tripod. But anyways, uh, yeah, I would say it's a slightly overpriced, but that's just my opinion. You may uh, think something completely different. Uh, the pocket clip, tip up, tip down, left hand, right hand carry. Overall, it's it's pretty nice. I like it. It's super fun to play with. Flips open like a champ. Locks up solid. Um, and, you know, a hinderer design for under $40. That's just pretty dang cool. All right, guys. I will talk to you later.